Two Cycles Now, New Zealand's next top model has had its fair share of drama. I think you are the most self-centred bitch I've ever met in my life. From falling over to falling out. No one likes you. No one likes you. Don't hold back. Is it because I'm black or something? Thousands of model hopefuls have fought for their place in testing locations here and around the world. Hold on to his ears. That could have been a fantastic picture. What do I got? You going like this. Ah! <laughs> Some broke down. <laughs> While Christabel and Danielle rose to the occasion to wear the top model crown. Oh my gosh. Oh, can you believe it? No. Now it's time to start again. It's cycle three, and we've brought 33 girls to the beautiful Bay of Islands, the birthplace of modern New Zealand, with a chance for some to find their feet in the cutthroat world of modelling. 33 young women all sharing one dream, but who will be New Zealand's next top model? After lunch, we got given bikinis and then we went on an awesome boat ride. We had a pretty interesting ride going over the waves, everybody screaming, as girls do. We arrived at a big yacht. When we got onto the yacht, we were all kind of sitting around and then all of a sudden Colin just popped out from the cabin with Theresa Moore, which was really exciting. <laughs> I'm in a really excited mood, can't stop smiling. <laughs> Welcome to Lion New Zealand here in the beautiful Bay of Islands. Now I'm here to see who's got what it takes to be New Zealand's next top model. <laughs> Joining me is one of New Zealand's most gorgeous exports. She's an international model and she's flown here from New York to shoot the Moon Tide campaign. It's the one and only Teresa Moore. Oh, thank you, Colin. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, she's a babe. Whether you're shooting Moon Tide or Haute Couture, a good model needs to know how to work it. And she needs to be able to model any garment in any situation. So right here on top of the water, we want to see your three best top model poses. Sink or swim. The competition starts now. We want three poses. I want to be wowed. I was feeling super nervous, like my stomach was just clenched. One. Ariana first up and she Three. set the bar and we we're all like, oh my god. So it was the first time we'd seen the competition we were up against. Watch your face. You could see some girls that struggled, some girls that instantly Three. were stronger. All right, Hillary, we want to see you work it. Pose one, two. When I watched her, her poses still look really good. Three. She might be one to watch out for. This so far. <laughs> Whoa, be careful. Oh. Oh. I, no, I could have done it better. You seem scared like a deer in a headlight. Three. They were nothing. You don't have platinum hair and you can't, you know, yeah. work a pole. <laughs> Maybe a second career choice. <laughs> Give us three amazing poses. I have no idea how to pose. One, two, three. There, there, there. Show us something different, Ara, because I'm getting bored. Pose one. Two, three. Yeah, we've, we've seen, seen it. Pose one. I tried to prepare myself and then I went up there and the wind was like, Nyeh! Three. And then that was my poses pretty much. <laughs> pose one, two, three. The one thing missing was confidence. Pose one. A little bit means mag. Two. No, no. Three. Oh. Whoa! Busting it out. It's a different yeah. magazine than oh, we're after. Right, right, right. Pose one. You covered your face. face. Two. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Next. I practiced a bit in bed. <laughs> I was like lying down and I was just like Two. posing and then fell asleep. Three. Nice. I was so busy concentrating on my poses, I forgot to do my face. You've got amazing eyes, but the mouth looks so mean. This. That's what I did. <laughs> Pose one. Two, three. Borderline hoochie, but all right. We want to see three yummy poses from you, okay? Pose one, two. Her poses were just like bam, bam, bam. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen something today. I know. Look at that. You did it. She just got up there and was just really striking and bold. It's well done. Good work. Thank you. Have you got your shoes? No, I can't handle them on the boat right now. 
I was the only one not to wear heels. Are you no good in high heels? No. Right. I can learn it. Here we go. Show us what you got. Pose one, two, three. <laughs> Where are you looking? Anywhere. My poses on the boat were like really theatrical. It was very like, you know, a Romeo, Romeo. I got some talent <laughs> hidden there somewhere. <laughs> okay, ladies, that was really interesting for us to see. One thing that I've learned, you all need to practice. Make the competition hard for all of us. And if I think that you're doing a good job and you're fighting for your position, then I will fight for you, okay? <laughs>
a few decent poses. I thought your face really lit up as soon as you got up there, and there's certain girls that just know how to use their face. Wearable arts. <laughs> they always feel really comfortable when I'm hula hooping. OK, so you're going to have to show us what you can do with the hula hoops. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Wow. You're really good. OK, that is so cool. <gasps> I just want to throw some coins at you. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. What I really like is that you can move your body. Yeah. It's effortless. I love that. Bring that into yeah. your poses. On a beach with those like coconut bikini thing. I've got one of those. Whoa! <laughs> Brianna, you're at school, right? Yes. What do you do out of school hours? I play netball. And what do you love? Netball. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You've had a little bit of experience walking? Yeah. Show us your walk. Go. Oh, that was really bad. No, it wasn't. Is that your finish? Yeah, we're not yeah. going to hit you. Oh, no, because that was really bad. No, no, listen. I thought I could have done it better, but I was in the moment, so... Hi. <laughs> Courtney, you're engaged, yeah? Been engaged for about a year now. He's my best friend, and I miss him a lot. I'm a mama bear, I, I'm, I'm a looker after her, I can't help it. Like, I'm a caregiver for my mum, partly, and... Your mum's not well, right? Yeah, she's got multiple sclerosis. Well, they're asking me quite a few personal questions. How long have you been really in charge like that? I've been baking cakes and cooking since I was seven. You sound like you've got a lot of baggage that you're carrying, like you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. No responsibility, but I'm happy with that. They said I've almost got like a hardness about me, which I need to leave behind if I go into a photo shoot. But then I thought, well, hopefully if I'm in a photo shoot, the photographer won't be asking me really personal questions about these things. You have great legs. I would live in shorts and heels if that was me. <laughs> Great legs. School pick up. Shorts and heels. <laughs> Picking up who? The dads. <laughs> <laughs>